Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Creator of the world, May 27. Yet, for us there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all are things. 1 Corinthians 8, 6 Silas and Timothy had come from Macedonia to help Paul, and together they labored for the Gentiles. To the heathens as well as to the Jews, Paul and his companions preached Christ as the Savior of the fallen race. Avoiding complicated, far-fetched reasoning, the messengers of the cross dwelt upon the attributes of the Creator of the world, the supreme ruler of the universe. Their hearts aglow with the love of God and of His Son. They appealed to the heathen to behold the infinite sacrifice made in humanity's behalf. They knew that if those who had long been grouping in the darkness of heathenism could but see the light streaming from Calvary's cross, they would be drawn to the Redeemer. The gospel workers in Corinth realized the terrible dangers threatening the souls of those for whom they were laboring. And it was with the scene of the responsibility resting on them that they presented the truth as it is in Jesus. Clear, plain, and decided was their message. A savior of life unto life, or of death unto death. And not only in their words, but in their daily life, was the gospel revealed. The hatred with which the Jews had always regarded the apostles was now intensified. The conversion and baptism of Crispus had the effect of exasperating instead of convincing these stubborn opposers. They could not bring arguments to disprove Paul's preaching, and for lack of such evidence, they resorted to deception and malignant attack. They blasphemed the gospel and the name of Jesus. In their blind anger, no words were too bitter, no device too low for them to use. They could not deny that Christ had worked miracles, but they declared that he had performed them through the power of Satan. And they boldly affirmed that the wonderful works wrought by Paul were accomplished through the same agency. Further reflection. How do I share Christ with those who may be hostile to religion?